Where the heck have I been for the past few months? As you know, I quit streaming on a regular basis. It became too mentally draining. I did a whole video on it. I ain't going to talk about it again. It's fine. It's whatever. It's in the past. But since then, I needed a new goal, a new hobby, a new purpose in life. So I did some soul searching. And by soul searching, I mean I scrolled on TikTok and YouTube shorts until I fell asleep at night, every night for the past three months. And one day I came across a guy by the name of Thor, AKA Pirate Software. You might know him. In the past year, his YouTube shorts have blew him up from a 100 viewer Andy to a 10K view streamer. Crazy, I know. And his whole shtick is that he's a game developer, he's super positive, and he wants other people to learn how to do game development. We'll get back to that in a second. Now, about a year ago, I tried to get into the whole game development thing. I tried to learn C Sharp and Unity, and it didn't go very well. Uh, I lost interest after two weeks because it gave me a headache. Uh, and I, and my brain is the size of a pinky toe. So, uh, yeah, I gave up on it. But now, as they say, new year, new me. The new pappy isn't gonna give up. The new pappy is gonna learn. He's gonna use his brain to the fullest. And guess what? I freaking did, dude. I ended up creating my first game. It's, it's kind of barely a game, but you know what? I'm proud of it, and I'm going to show you. But before I show you the game that I made, let me show you all the things that I've been working on. Let me take you all the way back to the beginning of my process, of my struggle to learn. The first thing I figured I needed to do was I needed to learn how to actually program, how to actually learn the language. I knew I wanted to learn Unity, and Unity uses a language called C Sharp. So there was my first step. Learn that. Microsoft's official website, look at this shit. They have an entire course for free talking about C Sharp. Yo, shout out to my boy Bob Tabor, by the way. He's doing God's work, dude. So I followed about half of that course and I got, I'm not gonna lie, I got really bored. And so I figured instead of doing it like this, why don't I just like try to recreate a video game? I have a little bit of knowledge on the basis of programming. Why don't I just find maybe like a YouTube video or something and recreate a, a simple game or a game that I think is simple and learn that way. And that's exactly what I freaking did, baby. Check this bad boy out. I followed a tutorial from a YouTube channel called Game Makers Toolkit. Look at this, dude. We made Pappy Burb, dude. Wow. All of the assets they provided, I did not do it. I am not artistic at all. But the most important thing I think is that I kept all of the scripts and the coding for it as well. So if I ever want to reference it like, oh, hey, how did I do that again? Oh, I can come in here and uh, I, can, I can figure it out. I also made a Pong clone and a Brick Breaker clone doing the same thing following a YouTube video tutorial, writing down the code, trying to make it make sense in my head, writing down notes if I need to, and saving the code. Now at this point in my journey, I am looking at devlogs, looking at tutorials, watching YouTube videos over and over again, and I was in a cycle called tutorial hell. I wanted to break out of that, so, you, so I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm making my own game, dude. And that's where we come to the point of this video. I created a video game. I became a dev. What game have I created, you ask? Well, one that will go down in the history books as one of the greatest games ever made. Fartman. The idea for this game started when I saw a video from a YouTube channel called Blackthorn Prod. And... This video is talking about 2D particle effects in Unity. Little tutorial, right? And I thought, damn, how can I use this in a game? It seems super easy. There's not a lot of coding behind it. Everything is in the Unity UI. I can make a little platformer game where you jump and you fart and the particles come out of your character's booty hole. Am I a 30 year old man that made a game that's literally a glorified fart joke? Yeah. Yeah, I did, and I'm proud of it. First things first, I had to create the character of our story, the hero himself, Fartman. And you know what? I went into GIMP, doesn't look that bad, doesn't look that bad. So the first task I needed to do was I needed to make Fartman jump. And I didn't just want him to 
jump normally. I don't want to press spacebar and have him boink by one press. I almost wanted it to be like a jetpack. You hold it down and he gradually farts, right? The fart should push him through the air. And it took a little while to code, but I got it working. Next up was the actual particle effects for the fart itself. Now I needed the particles to turn on when he jumps and turn off when he's not jumping, I guess. So basically I had jump bound to spacebar. When you press spacebar, fart clouds come out. When you're not pressing spacebar, fart clouds are not coming out. I hate to admit it, but this took me like an hour and a half or something to figure out. The particle system was peeing me o, dude. Holy crap. But I finally figured it out after Googling it a couple times and, you know, trial and error with chat helping me. We got it working. Kind of, sort of. Working enough. Then the only thing left was to create a win scenario. I thought, well, this is a platformer game. I might as well just make a very small level, make a door to the end of the level and have something pop up that says you win. That I knew how to do. I knew how to make a door. I knew how to create a uh, trigger effect for when you touch the door. I knew how to make something happen when you touch the door. Easy enough, this was super fast. It took me maybe like 25 minutes to do this or something. I never said that the game looked good, okay? It looks like crap, it looks like garbage, but you know what? It's a game, it works, and it's an original idea made by yours truly, ya boy. And that's why I'm so proud, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. I completed my first game, and I'm pretty sure that officially makes me a game developer. I'm not stopping here. I've got a newfound obsession with this. My new goal is to get good enough where I can join a game jam and complete a small game. Now, if you don't know what a game jam is, it's basically a small event run by somebody or something like a company or a YouTube channel where game developers can sign up and create a game on a specific theme for the game jam. That's my goal, dude. I want to be able to do that. I'm gonna end the video here so I don't go over eight minutes so there's not a mid-roll ad because ads are annoying as shit. So if you guys watch this video, thank you. I appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll be seeing more game development stuff from me probably in the near future. Love ya. Bye.